Greetings to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I am here to remind you that God can give you strength and victory even when you face the biggest battles. Listen to this powerful message and prayer and believe with all your heart. No matter how you feel and no matter your circumstances, just believe that God is able. Then Jesus will change your life in a very special and profound way. Your life will never be the same. Leave a like for this video. When you like the video, YouTube will show the video to more people so that you can help me to spread the gospel and change more lives. Now, the Lord has called upon us to equip ourselves with the knowledge of spiritual warfare and to seek His divine strength in every trial, tribulation, and conflict that we may face. Our life is a battlefield. When it's not one thing, it's another. As followers of Christ, we know that we are in constant battle with the forces of evil. And we also understand that our human strength is insufficient for us to face such alone. But we are not alone. Let me repeat, we are not alone. The mighty God is with us, and the power of His Word is our weapon. In Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 11, the Apostle Paul makes it clear, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. This armor of God is not physical, but spiritual, built with faith, truth, righteousness, peace, and salvation. Let us look at the story of David and Goliath, a perfect example of spiritual warfare in the Bible. In 1 Samuel 17, David was a mere shepherd boy facing a giant who was a seasoned warrior. Against all human logic and expectation, David, armed with faith in God and a simple sling, defeated Goliath. This wasn't just a victory of physical prowess, but a demonstration of the power of divine strength, the power of unwavering faith in God. In our own lives, we often find ourselves standing before our own Goliaths. Intimidating trials, overwhelming adversities, powerful temptations, destructive habits, and various forms of spiritual oppression. Like David, we must recognize that our victory doesn't lie in our physical strength or intelligence, but in God's divine strength that moves through us when we stand firm in faith. Our trust in God becomes our slingshot, and our prayers become the stones. In James 5, verse 16, it is said, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. When we pray, we are not merely expressing words or desires. We are engaging in spiritual warfare. Prayer is our connection with God, our line of communication in the battlefield, our spiritual weapon. So how should we pray for divine strength in spiritual warfare? First, acknowledge God's supremacy. Jesus told us to say this in Matthew 6, verse 9 to 10. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So you should begin your prayer by recognizing God's authority over everything that exists. Second, seek God's divine protection and guidance. The scripture continues in Matthew 6, verse 13 by saying, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Remember, God is our shield and defender. As we walk through the shadowed valleys of life, we must continually seek His protection and guidance. Thirdly, express your reliance on God. The scripture tells us in Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Our strength is inadequate, but God's strength is infinite. When we lean on Him, He provides us the divine strength to withstand all forms of spiritual warfare. In Luke 18, Jesus shared the parable of the persistent widow to teach us about the need to pray continuously and not lose heart. Our prayers should not be one-time utterances, but constant petitions made with faith. We should pray without ceasing. We should pray fervently. Remember that in this spiritual warfare, we are not helpless. Our strength lies in the Lord, our hope in His promise, and our weapon in prayer. As we step out each day, let us wear the armor of God. Truth buckled around our waist, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, 
the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Isaiah 40 verse 31 reminds us, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Spiritual warfare is a journey, not a sprint. It is a journey of faith, hope, and courage. We might stumble and we might falter, but we will never be defeated because our God fights with us and for us. Those that are with us are more than those that are against us. Now let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me, either by repeating the words or by saying it in your mind so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your sovereignty over all things. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I humbly seek to do your will on earth as it is in heaven. I come before you today recognizing that I am in need of your divine strength. In the battlefield of life, the spiritual warfare that wages on around me, I often find myself weary and burdened. Lord, I look to you alone, for you are my strong tower. You are my deliverer. Mighty God, I pray for your divine protection over my life and over the life of my loved ones. I know that the enemy seeks to derail me from the path of righteousness. The enemy seeks to hide my eyes from your truth, but Lord, you promised to be my refuge. Lead me, not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. You are my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Dear Lord, every Goliath I face, every mountain I need to move, every sea I must cross, I know I can conquer, not by my strength, but by the power of your Spirit. For as your word declares in Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Father, I put my trust completely in you. I renounce my self-reliance and place my faith in your eternal strength. Lord, I ask for strength, not just for today, but for tomorrow and all the days after. I need your strength to face challenges, to love unconditionally, to forgive generously, to serve diligently, and to live righteously. Let your grace be sufficient for me, for your power is made perfect in my weakness. God, you know the adversities I face, the fears that haunt me, the worries that consume me, and the trials that test me. I ask for the divine strength to face them, to rise above them, and to emerge victorious over them. May my life be a testimony to your unwearing faithfulness and mighty power. Equip me, Lord, with the full armor of God, the belt of truth to stand against deception, the breastplate of righteousness to guard my heart, the shoes of peace to walk in love, the shield of faith to quench all fiery darts of the wicked, the helmet of salvation to protect my mind, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word, to strike against all forms of evil. Lord, I pray with faith and persistence. As I battle the forces unseen, remind me to persist in prayer, to keep knocking. Keep seeking and keep asking until the door is opened, until I find and until I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I ask for the wisdom to recognize the tactics of the enemy and the courage to resist them. Guide my every thought, word, and action so that I may please you in all I do. I thank you for hearing my prayer, Lord, for I know you are a God who listens and responds. You've said in Isaiah 40, verse 29, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. I claim this promise today and forever. Fill me with courage, grace, and wisdom to overcome. Lord, I fight the good fight of faith, and in the name of Jesus I declare that in every spiritual battle I am more than a conqueror through him who loves me. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. Now, comment using the word Amen and claim this powerful prayer. I believe in the power of prayer. I pray in faith, believing and expecting from the Lord. Listen to this prayer for seven days and watch the Lord do miracles in your life. Why the number seven, you may think? Seven has significant meaning in the kingdom of God. It is a holy number that often represents completeness, perfection, or divine fulfillment. 
So if you can say this prayer on this channel for the next seven days, expect something extraordinary to take place in your life. Be sure to share your testimonies in the comments. Also, send this prayer to at least one of your loved ones or a friend who you know may need the blessing of this prayer. Please feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. To God be all the glory. May the Lord bless you abundantly and powerfully in the mighty name of Jesus, 